Hi Aries, welcome to your February 2022 Love and General Reading. I am Gemstone Tarot and you are Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, everybody's welcome. Now, Aries. Seven of Swords has come up in your shuffle and it's come up in your readings for a few months. There's this feeling of, I don't know if it's a betrayal or just something, I don't know. I don't know what it is, so we're gonna have a look. There it is again in the shuffle. Secret Seven of Swords. <laughs> and now it's at the bottom of the deck. Let's investigate. Okay. What do we need to know for Aries for February? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Pleased to see her. There it is. Kind of knew that was going to come up. Let's just put these to one side. Yeah. Right, okay. We're going to get started. Get, go and get a cup of tea, a drink, something stronger, whatever you like. The two overall energy cards are the devil with the nine of wands. What or who do you need to protect yourself from? For some of you, this is in the past. Often with the devil, it's in the past. But it touches on the future as well and the, and the now, you know, the present even. I'm making these videos during Mercury Retrograde. My ability to express myself <laughs> is jumbled and a bit limited, but I'm coming up with some really good channeling. So you pay your money, you take your choice. Do you know what I mean? When you get the devil card, there is a sense of being tied to something. It's, it can be a job like the golden handcuffs, you know, a job that pays quite well, but you can't stand it. Or even um, a toxic relationship where you both love and hate that person at the same time. There's a sense here of wanting to shake off the bonds of something but at the same time knowing that you need to protect yourself against the influences of something. Now, the Seven of Swords, this card insisted on coming up. It came up in every single bit of the shuffle, then plopped itself on the bottom of the deck. Then I thought, you know, we'll give you a fighting chance, Aries. We'll give it another shuffle and deal the cards out. And then it came out again. And I was like, all right, you've earned your place on the table. We will listen. Um, let's hear what you have to say. Seven of Swords, there is some kind of enemy in your camp. You know, it's in a camp. It's in this kind of festival atmosphere. And you can see somebody is making off with the Five Swords. For some of you, this may be somebody in your friendship group because we also have, or a social group, we've got the Three of Cups. It can also include colleagues, you know, your working friends, um, the people you're associated with. It can even be like members of family for some of you. I hope not, but it can be, you know, family can be really tricky. But also your tribe can be the people you hang out with, the people you're online with, Facebook friends now this you know whole concept of tribe has become a lot wider 
but there is somebody who is a trickster, a bit difficult. I want to take another card for it. So I'm going to. Let's take another card. What do we need to know about the Seven of Swords? Can we know a bit more about this? Because it was so important for it to come up. Okay, interesting. The Magician. The Magician is very powerful. It can represent um, air sign energy, particularly Aquarius for me, but also sometimes Gemini. The person that you're dealing with or the person that is got this beef causing these problems, whatever you want to call it. This may be someone who's kind of lodged in the past. I don't quite understand why the past feels like the present, but it does. This may have occurred over Mercury retrograde which was January the 14th and it will be till the 4th of February. Either way, there's been some, this person kind of is a bit disruptive and they want to cause, they want to make something happen. That's what the magician does. The magician kind of on a good day is the alchemist and he turns water into wine and gold and, you know, metal into gold and he's got his table out and here's his props and all of that. But if we take it in terms of like the magician you see on the TV, it looks good, it's glamorous, it's exciting, we like it, it's entertaining. But when you kind of pull back the curtain, you don't really know who you're dealing with. So I would just certainly be careful in the month of February for anybody who you don't really know what you're dealing with. Now, Aries is very good normally at knowing what they're dealing with. You're very upfront. But there is also a certain innocence about Aries. You're the first sign of the zodiac. You haven't got a lot of side, is what I call it. My son's an Aries and, you know, he's not a very good liar, which is <laughs> extremely useful when you're a parent. But also, you know, there's a side to Aries that can be taken in because you expect, everybody does, we expect other people to behave like we do and to have our values and not everybody does. Okay. We also get, when we were looking at the Seven of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, juggling the money, juggling the situation, changing up the values. For some of you, somebody, let's say it was a work situation, is wanting to move the goalposts on you. And maybe you don't want them to be moved. Nine of, nine of wands. It's like, here are the goalposts. I've got many goalposts and I'm rooting them in the ground. For some of you, this may be, um, if it's a romantic situation, it can be somebody who's wanting to push your boundaries, push your limits, push you outside your comfort zone. And you need to know where your comfort zone is, you need to know where your boundaries are, you need to know where your limits are. And like I said, normally for Aries that isn't difficult. But this person is difficult to deal with sometimes. That's in their nature. And then you've got the Eight of Cups. When you get the Eight of Cups, you acknowledge, or I acknowledge as a reader, there may be a decision to walk away. You may have already walked away. This could be someone you previously walked away from anyway. You wanted to put distance. Either way, it looks like there may end up being a need to walk away from something or someone who's not... I don't know, they're pretty mysterious. They feel pretty sneaky and a bit mysterious. Mm. 
you're going to get something new coming in. And this may be very, very welcome, okay? By the way, if this reading resonates when you get to the end, there will be an extended as normal and the link will be in the description box below. We've got the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is nice in this reading because it's fresh, it's fresh meat, fresh fish. You know, fish in a cup. Here we come. This is something new. It's something new on the horizon and it's small. If it's a romantic um, relationship coming in, it's in very small early stages. You know, it's a text message, it's an initial message online or whatever it is that people do, you know, now for dating, which has changed a lot over the last two years. It's an opener and I like that. I like that a lot. It feels like, it feels like a welcome approach. It feels nice and it feels much needed in a situation that may have become quite tricky. This is a person who just might feel very peaceful to you at a time when others haven't or at a time when you haven't been able to kind of get peace in other ways. It may be a peace offering, it can be an apology, the Page of Cups. It's often associated with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so it could be with water sign people in your life. But either way, I like the energy of that. It's really sweet, it's really nice, it's really welcome. We also have the Hanged Man. And when you have the Hanged Man, there is a certain kind of sense of restlessness that you want to get on with something. For some of you, you may want to get on with whatever the issue is that's come up with this Devil card and this Seven of Swords and the Magician and the Eight of Cups. That's quite a powerful kind of knot of energy that's come up there. And you may want to like get to the bottom of that and deal with it and eradicate it or make peace with whatever is going on, whatever it is, whatever you feel your approach is. But just know, and this has come up for, I think that card has come up for nearly every star sign this month. While we're in this, the first half of February and Mercury's retrograde shadow, it's really hard to cut something new. That's just the cards, that's just the energy. Mercury retrograde, it's a bit of a pig sometimes, it has its advantages and it kind of hangs around. It's just hard to sort of draw a line and make a fresh start. But what you do do during this time, even if it seems frustrating, like let's say this is a work situation and you're kind of secretly making plans to tunnel out, you know, that you're looking for another job, that you're spending all your lunch times on indeed, um, you're wanging your CV out right, left and centre. But as in we would want in that situation, you just want to get headhunted and someone else to go, I will take you away from all this. Come and work for me or whatever it is. It's not going to be quite as easy as that or as quick as that. But it is in the offing. That's what I'm saying. And in terms of this is a romantic situation, resolution, whichever way that is, whether it's you walking away or whether it's this apology or whether it's someone new coming in or whatever, is also not quick, it's kind of messy. But you do have this death card and the death card means that there is radical change happening in the lives of Aries. It just doesn't feel like it. When everything's happening, nothing is happening. Hanged man. When you get the death card, not all that change is welcome. And I don't think all this change is welcome. For some of you, there may be someone you've been involved with who was maybe a bad habit, or maybe there was some elements of toxicity around the relationship. It will vary for different people, but it feels like breaking the chain is freedom, but it's also pain, you know, it's, Sometimes freedom is pain. It's like I'm free to do whatever I want. And it's like, but why don't they care what I do? You know, it's that sort of feeling that I get. It's a bit confusing. 
go with the confusion, at least for the first half of February, because it's going to be emotional and confusing. Now, you get the Queen of Wands. I love this card for Aries, such a gorgeous, gorgeous card. It's you at your finest, it's you at your bossiest, it's you at your best. You need to take charge of this situation, but that's gonna take a bit of time. The Queen of Wands does, you know, bang the wand and has the sunflower and everyone's like, woof, gotta do what she says. And that's true, it's like a diva card in a really good way. But before she issues those things, she's got her facts gathered, she's worked it all out very slowly, she's dotted the I's and crossed the T's. Dot the I's and cross the T's. If this is about a pay rise or not being recognised at work or a grievance or whatever it is, have all your dates, your times, have everything logged, get everything straight, you know. Obviously take legal advice if it comes to that as well. But get Get, get the details, devil is in the details. Get your details right. And see if you can take emotion out of the equation as much as possible, okay? As much as possible. In the middle of your reading, we've got this beautiful star card. I love this card. A lot of people have got this as well. Um, of course, we are in Aquarius season until about the 20th of February it's a good season for you. It's a good season for networking. If you're looking for a job, and I think a lot of you are looking to change jobs here, um, do it through networking and social more than just looking through the job pages or however anyone does it, websites or whatever. Do it through social media, do it through friends, do it through recommendation because that's gonna get you further, quicker, and into more serendipitous situations, okay? Really important. Now up here we've got the Hermit card. Some of you may be feeling quite insular or feeling like you want some time and space on your own. You may have had people staying with you or just been felt a bit kind of overcrowded by people recently. For one or two of you though, that Hermit card is who's coming in with the Page of Cups, so it could be a Virgo, but also it just could be somebody who's also very insular. It's someone who's very private, but they want to spend time with you. And I like that vibe for you, it's really nice vibe. It feels like somebody very different to that devil card. They know who they are. Just for one or two of you, that might be someone who can help you track down what's going on with the Seven of Swords and make sense of it. You know, like an elder or someone who's wise or someone at work who kind of knows all but is very private about it. That could be someone that you could approach about that. But I like the energy of that person. And then underneath we've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a card of new beginnings, but because it's the Ace of Pentacles, it's earthy new beginnings. For some of you, again, finance comes up again. Investment, side hustles, starting a business, starting a venture. If it is a relationship, it's a relationship that goes slow. It starts slow. It starts out more as friendship. Romance Angel Oracle cards we get. Stay optimistic about your love life. Some of you, especially if you have dealt with that devil card and made an exit at some point, may not be feeling so optimistic, okay? So see if you can reignite that spark in yourself. Religious factors, your love life is affected or influenced by your spiritual path, by theirs too. That hermit person is quite a spiritual person. I think it's actually opposites attract in this case and I rather like that for you. And then we get honeymoon. There's a possibility here of spending some real luxury time with somebody. Holiday time, bliss time, 
quiet. This is very quiet, very personal time with somebody, which may not have been what you were expecting. Aries, your reading is more mysterious than normal. Um, I'm going to go and do your extended reading. I'm going to look at the devil, the eight of cups, the magician, what's going on with that. I'm going to dig more about that seven of swords and look at your person, how they feel about you, who might be coming in. Okay. If you're interested in that, the link is below in the description box and I'll see you on the other side. Namaste.